live from Brigandia 2, it's the Let's Play with Brigands 2024 New Year's Eve Countdown Special. We've made it through another year. Still ancient walls, why God and cheers? But if there's one thing I can say, the life is always better with a game. Welcome to the Let's Play with Brigands 2024 New Year's Eve Countdown Special. We've got all your favorite Let's Play with Brigands personalities standing by, waiting to count you down all the way through till midnight. And speaking of which, Fluff, are you there? Hey, Professor. Happy New Year. Hey, Fluff. Happy New Year. How's your party going? It's good. We even had a butter cake sighting. Oh, yeah? Can I talk to him? Well, uh, at the moment, he's a little bit... Hey, Professor, I put a lamp sheet on my head. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. Yeah, maybe uh, a little bit later. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Uh, anyway, I'm going to leave you in the very capable pause of Fluff to kick things off. Uh, can we get the countdown timer on the screen? There we go. I'll be with you a little closer to midnight, but uh, in the meantime, Fluff, get us started, why don't you? You got it, Professor. Before we get into the games, let's give out the Briggy for the worst game featured on Let's Play with Brigands in 2023. There were a lot of great contenders for the title of Worst Game, Mystery of the Druids, a couple games by Jim Walls, Owl's Quest, which was pretty much bad intentionally, but... Uh, the winner slash loser and recipient of the Briggy for Worst Game Feature on Let's Play with Brigands in 2023 is... Codename Iceman. I guess the professor tipped his hand in that intro, but between incredibly specific text parser demands, the entirety of the submarine part, which was 80% of the game, and so very much more, Jim Walls, what were you thinking? <laughs> Let's get to the games now with something that doesn't suck. All right, let's get into the game portion of this evening. This is The Longest Night. This is a supplemental game with Night in the Woods, a game which I played on Let's Play with Brigands what feels like a decade ago, but it was actually only a couple few years ago, I guess, at this point. But I loved this game. It, uh, it's a story about a girl who is a cat who, uh, who drops out of college to go back to her hometown, becomes a townie when things didn't turn out the way she thought they would, and, uh, just excellent writing, excellent music, just all around a fantastic game, just a good story about anyone, like I said, whose lives didn't turn out the way they thought they might, and also, uh, a troubling and disturbing secret society, but, uh, I don't want to give anything away, there's a lot going on in that game works on a lot of levels, so. I just found out this was a thing. So there's us, Meg Bowski in the bottom right, the main character, and then we have our, our friend B and Angus, and all of our friends are here. These are sort of the main four characters from the game. Why aren't I cold? I have no idea what a fire. We have a fire. We have reached that level as a civilization. Wise asses. Oh. Bored. Feels like we've been here forever. She did the longest night constellation thing. Really? Since I was like six. What are we talking? No one's done that since they were six. I don't remember being six. Really? Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm trying to think of farthest back memories that I can access. <laughs> it's very specific. Did something troubling happen? B is a synthetic life form created at age eight and a half. Yes, sir, are you a replicant? Professor recently did Blade Runner on the Let's Play with Brigands. That <laughs> makes so much sense. Beep boop B. One one zero one one. Okay, whatever, I'm done. Can we just do this thing? That's true. I'm, I'm a little spotty on the constellations. Leave it to Angus. Since always, 
And listen up, dummies, we're going to school. Space school, I dropped out of school, fellas. They did talk about the constellations a little bit in Night in the Woods. A couple of cool mini games in that. There was like a dungeon crawler type Metroidvania game like built into the game that you could play. But I digress. We're pattern fighters. Let's find some patterns. Trippy. I suppose if they don't connect, then it's not meant to be. No pun intended. Oh, we got our first one. Rebello, Pope. Sometime in the 1400s. Crazy times. God, I love this one. Two rival Popes. Rebello won by opening his mouth and consuming them with fire. Yeah, that usually wins. I don't know why more candidates don't go with that solution. And then he ate them. What? <laughs> I knew that one. That is amazing. Historically, his extended family poisoned one and stabbed the other before throwing him into a canal. But he did eat them. It's like, uh... He did eat them, yes. It's the raddest thing I have ever heard. Chop, chop, whoops, I ate you. Now I'm the Pope. This is nice, this is like, connected with the game and yet at the same time, it's just being its own thing. This one kinda looks like B, Harmonium, the head of the singing orders of angels. Ugh, this one. And mom, I was just gonna say, B. I can see it. I sure can't, I mean, sure, when you connect them all, they form it right in front of you. So many cranky angels. I'm sorry, B. Yeah, the interpersonal dynamics, the writing on that level is so good in this game. You really should check out our Let's Play if you haven't seen it. If you're not familiar with this game. Across the sky. Alright, so this is a long one. A lot of these kind of look like the Big Dipper at first. To me. It doesn't connect. Oh, we're not quite done. Monday, the world fish. Back when they thought whales were fish. And you know, that was on... That world was on one. <laughs> Monday is my sign. <laughs> oh, God. Of course it is. Yeah, what are you trying to say, B? If any of this meant anything, it might mean something, but it doesn't, so... <laughs> oh, well... What are you doing? Whale noises. Oh, this is... Oh, is this just a little triangle? There you go. I, I just got, like, on our third or fourth constellation that they're linked by the sounds. Tomatron. It rings at the end of the world. Oh, God. And Mundy shakes everything off her back. I think it'll catch us fire, too. Yeah, just for... Insult to injury. Made sense back then. Back when people were like, wicked dumb, says me. I don't mean to sound like a jerk, but people were super dumb back then. <laughs> it's all relative. And full of dumb people. Beautiful dumb people. Shiny happy people. Oh, that's an easy one. A fish. If you squint, I guess. Just a fish, pretty self-explanatory. Fish is my sign. It would be your sign, Angus. Adap oh, do we have a choice here? You're adaptable and smelly. A failure in all things. I feel like our, our May was always sarcastic, cynical, cutting to the bone. <laughs> Did I make things weird? I didn't mean anything. I'm sorry, Angus. Yeah, we like you. You're the smartest one out of all of us. Yeah, we're just angry. Yeah, what is going on here? We 
did have a long year. We're, we're not a good person, really, throughout a lot of this game. I mean, you can affect a lot of that as the game goes, but... Yeah. They, uh... Team Angus. <laughs> yeah, they're in a relationship, those two. Team Treasure! Can I be the mascot? I think you should be. Whose sign might this be? This one just keeps going. Of music. Oh, nice. Everyone in this uh, group plays in a band at one point, too, so that's cool. Might be a germ. Germ isn't even musical, like, at all. Another kind of secondary character in Night in the Woods. Weird germ. Yeah, we talked to him a few times. How do you know? Face getting sleepy. little three-piece here. Also looks familiar. Quinona, executed by some king somewhere. That's usually the case. Everything before the year 1500. Her head continued to speak against her murderers for years. That's pretty sweet. You think, right? In the story, she's portrayed as annoying like <laughs> she was being a martyr. About literally being martyred. They eventually put her head in a trunk and threw her in a river. <laughs> Just got annoying. What did she do? Talked out loud in public? That's it. I do that all the time. Guess that was enough. Some river in Italy should tell you about her murder. Ooh, the river of guilt. She's giving you a guilt trip or something stupid. Yeah, I hate this one. Happy longest night. Moving on. Lots of Chinese in this one. Oh, the W. Geo. Who's this? What? The fox. The scourge of the French countryside. Yeah, totally French. Totally a scourge. Why does he have a spirit throw? Candle burns twice as bright, gets speared through the guts. That is rough. I see why this one's so popular. Yeah, I think uh, they probably could have done without this part of the star if he had his choice. This one's got. This is like our rave lead. Ooh. Our man Odos, the little king. He was a king who was little? I don't know anything about this one. Apparently, Little King was big news back then. I don't think he was even supposed to be all that small, kind of like Napoleon. There's this king, but get this. He's slightly smaller than you'd expect. He wears small shoes. Let's immortalize him in the night sky. <laughs> I'm kind of short. Hey, Borowski. I said Grabowski. Borowski. I always forget her name. Constellation. Nah. Having the constellations is dead now. Enchanter is here. Ooh. Yvonne, the first singer. Ever see the opera bass in this? Man, it's gotta be... It's gotta take some balls to have been the first singer, you know? It's hard enough being a singer, getting up in front of a group of people and singing. Imagine being the first one ever. Everyone's like, what are you doing? That's so awkward. Uh, let's pretend we did. Let's be that first. Oh, uh, or we did. Mr. Olmers. Super long. Yvonne drinks the ocean to make the fish cry. So you can finally hear their voices and teach them to sing. That's sweet. Uh, or really dumb. It's a good kind of dumb. Yeah. Opera's kind of like that all over. Alright, two to go. Or three. Oh, that's cute. 
mice writers, inventors of written language. Aren't they supposed to be thousands of them? <laughs> Listen, there's only so much sky. The mice writers are my side. Means you're screwed. I don't know. I think we're trying to get back in everyone's good graces here. Let's try to be nice. Accurate. Alright, now there's two left. Oh, the forbidden snake, the first thing that talked. Or the broken snake. The story always made me so annoyed. I was totally the kid in Sunday school who pitched a fit over this story. You got sent out to adult church to sit with your parents. No punching cookies for me. Did you know? You did mean it, yeah. Oh, maybe there's still two more. Now this is it. That should be it. Corbin the Thief stole the diamond from the crown of Rubello, the fire-breathing pope, and it all comes full circle. Got arrowed to death from like 200 feet from the palace. So you didn't get to be a constellation for being a great thief then. <laughs> the diamond's just out of its reach there. You did not. Screw the man. Steal their diamonds. The revolutionary seal of kids from the suburbs. Basically. Blossom Springs is in the suburbs. <laughs> you need a city to have suburbs. It's a small town. Dead center of nowhere. 40 minute drive if you want to buy shoes. We both have full-time jobs. Yeah, he works at the convenience store. And I think he works at the video store. <laughs> yeah, that's how the man operates. I'll be 20 in like four months. Alright, you're all very serious adults. Thank you. Yes, thank you. There you go. That's all 13 of them. Thanks, Angus. That was cool. You're a big old nerd, Gavin. Yes. Yes, I am. You should be a professor. I think I filled that role at the video store. I'm glad I remember that. Like I said, it's been three years. I'm glad I remember where Angus works. I haven't hung out with you in years, B. This is like a prequel, I guess. Tonight in the Woods. That's true, yeah, we were best friends, and then we had a falling out. Like, you stopped sitting with me at lunch? That's sad. Returning my phone calls. I think we all have a lot of stories like that. People we had fallings out with. Greg, there we go. Greg, I blanked on his name. Greg, Angus, B, and May. And we became best friends, May and Greg. I love the first scene when they get back together again. May and Greg, after she comes back from college. It's cool, Greg. Yeah, are we, where are we? Angus, you're the smart one. Yeah, why are we still alive? Alright, a Saurus pattern? Wait, what? Oh, am I still at school? I didn't go home. Laundry day. Apple juice taste when he threw up earlier. You have to call home. You don't want to call home. Oh, it's all in my head. What made you think of me today? This is your new life. Wow. Is it still new after a year and a half? Underwear adjusts. Next year will be new again. That's a good theme for this evening's event, actually. sleeping. There you go. Kind of makes me want to play Night in the Woods again, but there you go. The Longest Night. A little supplementary game from uh, Night in the Woods to, uh, to go along with that. Anyway, how about we give out another Briggy after that? Sounds good to me. Before we send it over to Blaze for our next game, let's give out our Briggy for the best video games 101 class of 2023. 
Battletoads, Super Mario Bros. 3, Ghosts and Goblins, there were a lot of great games we tackled in 2023 on Video Games 101, where I personally dispensed a host of interesting facts and helpful tips alongside the professor and other TAs. And your Briggy for Best Video Games 101 class of 2023 goes to... Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Sometimes the best classes are the ones which cover the trickiest games. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a game which never holds your hand, but thanks to Blaze's item guide on the best items to stock up on, Gary's boss beater for one of the hardest bosses on the system in Judge Doom, the professor's step-by-step -step guide, and most importantly my fluff facts. You can beat a game which can have you going around in circles for hours and hours in less than an hour with our class. Speaking of which, don't forget to subscribe to Video Games 101 with the link in the description if you haven't already done so. Now let's send it to my fellow TA Blaze for our next game of the evening. Hi, thanks Fluff. Happy New Year, everybody. We are playing something which the professor actually did a little bit of in the annual holiday party stream. This is from Sierra, actually. This is Die Hard. The first person shooter. This is a long game. I liked what I saw when the professor was playing it the other night. So we're just gonna get through this because we have a very specific goal. This is a long game. All I want to do in <laughs> in this playthrough, let's call it, before we hand it off to Gary, is I want to get to the Reginald Val Johnson, the pal character in this game. So let's start things up. This pretty much just mirrors the plot of the film of the same name, the original Die Hard. Nakatomi Plaza. And uh, yeah, I liked what I saw and the professor was playing it. I did a little Die Hard. I don't know if it was last year for the, uh, for the, the holiday, the New Year countdown stream or if it was a couple years ago, but that was the Die Hard arcade game, which I absolutely love. But, uh, yeah, I would love to see a proper playthrough of this on Let's Play with Briggins at some point. Being that we are short on time, we're going to skip through a lot of this Lady and just get right Hi, man. So you ladies see into the game. And, uh, all right, here we are. First person shooter. Let's talk to this guy. Excuse me, I'm looking for my wife. Hey, good evening. I'm here to see Holly McLean. That's the best Just Bruce Willis there. they could come up with in terms of voice acting. Uh, I don't see Holly. She must have used her maiden name, Gennaro. Damn it, Holly. Uh, Gennaro with the G. Yep, yep, there she is. Holly Gennaro. 30th floor. 30th floor. Well, that's the party. They're the only ones left in the building. Why don't you take the express elevator? Get off when you hear the noise. Thanks. There you go. It's probably a joke there, but we'll uh, we'll leave that. Even though it's late at night, let's call the elevator. Hop on the elevator. I'm sure terrorists slash bank robbers won't attempt to uh, knock off the Nakatomi Plaza for six hundred million or whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. Again, just trying to skip through this. How do you do? It's rather ambitious, our goal here, I'll admit. When the professor was playing, he didn't make a lot of Ellis? traction. <sighs> I love it. It's shot for shot, the exact same movie. That's why I think this game needs to be played properly sometime. I just want to hear the Reginald Val Johnson voice, or as close what as they that? got, basically. All right, I think this is where the game begins in proper pick up our gun. We have objectives, so I think that was the problem the professor was having. Kept trying to be a hero, trying to be uh, John Wayne or Roy Roger, whatever he preferred, yippee ki and all that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just gonna sneak by on the 30s. Why didn't you stop them, John? Because then you'd be dead too. Good point. Think, damn it, think. We can. A fire alarm. Fire alarm. This will get. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. Is... I'll kiss your fucking Dalmatian. Line for line, too. I love it. All right. What the? What? They turned it off. Can I grab an axe, by the way? Can I grab. 
fire extinguisher, by the way. Yes. That needs to be... How do I switch between my... There we go. Can I grab the axe? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see some terrorists slash bank robbers now. All right. Maybe... Maybe the gun... Oh, we can't hold both. Die! Oh, can I get the big gun? Yes, please. Oh, am I out of ammo already? No, I'm not. Oh, it defaults me to pick up the axe when I step on top of it. That's weird. Alright. Oh, I got a lot of ammo, too. This should be sweet. Alright, we gotta get Pal. Gotta get him involved. We have no shoes, I don't think. We can't see our feet. I think we are shoeless right here. Oh. Find and kill Tony. I'm so conflicted about that for so many reasons. There's the lean feature. Die! Alright then. That wasn't very efficient use of bullets, but... Or my health, that's alright. Do we love that moment from John? Do we have some medicine here? Oh, that would be clutch. Oh. Hey, Tony! Can I get this, uh... There we go. Excellent. Topped off our health there. Out of order, of course. Plenty of ammo, though. In here, in here. In here, in here. Come over here. I hate this music either. That's why Die Hard's so great, though. It's like the. They nailed John's kid. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, where's my axe? Hold up. Why didn't you stop him? Just. You can hear the, the tension in his voice right there because then you'd be dead too. Just thrown into all this. Alright, I still have my gun, right? Alright. Let's get to shopping. Hmm. Sweet. All right, definitely don't want to be caught with the axe in a gun situation. Was that a door, by the way? Uh, locked. Of course. Just want to hear his voice. They may have actually got him. I don't know. Uh, locked. Of course it is. The fire has been called off, my friend. Tony. No one is coming to help you. You might as well come out and join the others. Boss time. I promise I won't hurt you. I can't make the same promise to you, Tony. Watch him run. Hey. Fight me like a man. Don't send your minions out after, after me. Plenty of ammo here. Shoot the glass. Is that him? It's not him. Come on. Love it too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook you, eat you. All right, that's a lot of guys. I'm not gonna eat any of these guys. A oh, grenade would be so clutch, but John McClane did not have a grenade, at least not in this scene. Good lord! I don't think I'm hitting him. Alright, there's medicine. Just in time. All right. This is on easy. This is on diehard difficulty here. All right, I'm gonna run back over here. Die! 
Got him. Down he goes. Why aren't you dying to? Loot Tony for items. He may have had a key on him. All right. All right, loot him. What do you got? Let's see. Oh, he's got a radio. He did have a radio. Now we have a radio. Zippo lighter. CB radio. I can call for help with this. I can call. I should get up to the roof so I have a better signal. All right. Where would that be? There we go. Turn the breaker on. And that did what? That turned on the saw? Or whatever that's worth. Yeah, there's the saw. We just had to turn the breaker on. Is the elevator gonna work? Uh, work over here now, maybe. Should. No. I don't think some random door is gonna open for me now. We are gassed. Uh, Locked. Maybe that's a clue that the, the saw turned on. Could have used his shoes. Nine million terrorists in the world, and I gotta kill one with feet smaller than my sister. <laughs> oh, that's all. I just had to look for his shoes. All right. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. All right, let's get on the roof and use that radio. Almost done. The charges will disable. Wire cutters. Get up. Going to pump the rest of the ball. They just leave wire cutters about for. Kill him. Ah, come on now. Not the smartest. All right, there's another one. Yeah, we gotta find some wire cutters. And I'll have to find another way. And these guys have wire cutters on them? Probably not. Probably not. Let's be honest. Could have checked some of those guys for their shoes. I need coffee. Is that one of the developers? Just having some fun. A medical kit. A medical kit. What? Oh, Venus and Mars coming soon. We're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking once we find wires. Alright, somewhere in. Wait, what? To Bay, uh. Bailey Bob's house of building. Alright. Did they trap me in here? Seriously? Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> Alright. You're running low on time here, huh? Help! It's uneasy, you son of a... Wow. So many bombs to cut. So many wires. Oh, almost shot that one. How much time we got? Oh no! And even less time to midnight. We gotta get moving here. Oh, good lord! I'm running out. Kill him and get out of here. All right, Arnold. Cowboy, I like that. Get the guy. Well, 
20 medical kits everywhere. How do you like that? I got both of them? Really? Wire cutters. I'll have to find another way. Just got wire cutters. I'd better defuse the rest of the bombs. Sorry, where, where'd we get wire? Where, where is there wire cutters? Gotta disarm it. Gotta disarm Got it. Gotta dis... I don't have my... I'll have to find another way. Okay, can you show me the wire cutters there, Johnny? I'll have to find another... I need to get back to the rest of the bombs. I don't know where you saw wire hmm. cutters. Hmm. <laughs> I'd better defuse the rest of the bombs. I don't think... Did I defuse any of them? Gotta disarm it. Gotta disarm I don't have much time. I'd better get back to those bombs. Oh. There we go. I need to get back to the rest of the bombs. There we go. Alright, thankfully they beep really loudly. Generally speaking. I'd better defuse the rest of the bombs. Did I miss any in here anymore? I don't hear any more beeping. All right, hurry back. We have about four minutes. Hear a couple here. Uh. -uh. Wait, what? No. Alas, I don't think it's in the cards. <laughs> We're gonna get to his voice. Personal goal compromise. We gotta move things along. Like the, the timers counting down in this game. I gotta hand it off to Gary. We gotta revisit this game at some point. This is a good game. Uh, yeah, now that we kind of figured it out, we'll hand it over to the professor at some point. But uh, yeah, Fluff, I understand you have another briggy to give out. Why don't you do that? I'll see y'all at midnight. Thanks, Blaze. Let's hand out the Briggy now for the best Let's Burn reaction of 2023. The professor took on a litany of spicy challenges in 2023 on Let's Burn with Briggins. This past year saw the reveal of a brand new hot sauce lineup with season two as the professor tackled some crazy hot challenges week after week, downing increasingly spicy hot sauce to bring a competitive edge to your favorite classic games. In the end, I suppose it's no surprise that the Briggy for Best Let's Burn Reaction goes to when the professor took on the Trouble Bubble K. John 16 million Scoville Units Bubble Gum Challenge. He did it with the backdrop of playing through Bubble Ghost, but that was all just background noise as far as we're concerned to what was far and away the hottest challenge ever taken up on Let's Burn with Brigands. And yes, there's a link in the description to subscribe to that channel as well. Now let's throw it to Gary for something which is almost as scary as 16 million Scoville units. Take it away, Gary. Thank you very much, Fluff. Happy New Year, everyone. From Rising Wolf Games, tonight I will be playing The Lost Fear. This is a game which we didn't have time to get to in this past year's uh, Let's Scream with Brigands. And uh, the professor and his infinite wisdom decided I should be the one to play tonight. Uh, I suspect because he knows how much I hate Horror games absolutely cannot stand them. They they scare the heck out of me. Uh, so it should be entertaining for you, if nothing else. This game was designed by a 13-year-old, for what it's worth. So hopefully it's not too scary, but you never know. And uh, let's see, I got my, my mouse and keyboard combo here. That guy looks terrifying. That's not a good start. What's this deal? Why is he wiggling like that? Anyway... All right, is this real? Is this just fantasy? It can't be. I thought I woke up, but... This isn't my room. Now oh, we've all had mornings like that, nights like that. Died one too many on the night before. 
All right, got our flashlight here. We're looking around. Let's open the door here. And, uh, already very creepy. With the, the ambient sounds in the background. Getting some PT vibes right off the bat here. The, uh, the playable teaser from, uh, well, I guess it was, the whole project was canceled, but you can still... You see how I keep talking to try to make things a little less scary. A little less stressful for myself here. So don't, don't mind me, everyone. Where the hell am I? This isn't your room. Like you said. That was your first guess. The, <laughs> the, the wallpaper, the ornate kind of style of everything. Yeah, this is very PT in that we're going in circles here. And, uh, and just, yeah, they are building us up here. I'm waiting for a jump scare. I'm hoping this is more of a psychological kind of horror and not just like a, oh, we pop out Five Nights at Freddy's type situation, you know? Do you know the person behind? Oh, so Oh. Okay, I thought they were setting me up for something behind this door. Guess not. All right, well, I... Oh, and now they've closed this off. That's fantastic. What are we getting ourselves into? Oh, my God! Oh. Uh. All right, well, what do we say about hoping there were no jump scares? All right, psychological horror out the window. We're just going for... I mean, it's all psychological, but yes. Who doesn't love a good jump scare? I don't. I don't, actually, Professor. All right. What do we got now? Got these valves we're going to be opening, I guess. All right, so this door is opening. Some sort of gate is being lifted right now. Is the creature going to... Did we die before? Are there multiple layers to this? I guess so. All right, then. Kudos to a 13-year-old who can make those sounds come out of me. <laughs> I will say that. Those sounds of terror, because... Yes, that, uh... That was real. I don't know if this is real. Our character's a little unsure about that. I know that reaction was real. Hopefully this will open the door, perhaps... Anything else in here? Seem to be in some sort of utility basement or... I'm not sure. You can also go to the right here. I want to check this before we double back. There might be a third... Oh, is that a piece of paper? Can we check that? There are times when all I can think about is murdering someone. Hmm. Um. Okay. Wondering, I don't want to speculate or just. I wonder how the parents of this 13 year old feel. <laughs> Maybe they're just proud, as well they should be, for the fact that they actually. That's a nice chair, by the way, that they actually managed to. This child put together a legitimately. Oh! <laughs> no, I think the child needs some sort of counseling. I right, take it back. All right, this door is open now. Uh, all right, let's just run for our lives. You were probably going to be running straight into another jump scare, and I what? Are we being held up by a chain? Oh, the chain is slowly rising. Oh gosh, is that a piece of exercise equipment there. What is that? Another door. Oh! <laughs> Good lord. 13 year old child and now we oh god what is that thing coming toward us very slowly I, I don't think it's moving at all actually I bet as soon as we turn around it's going to be coming for us I'm not hanging out I'm running let's book it let's get the heck out of here why didn't the professor have time to get to this one during let's scream Come on now. Love a cracked door here. And that just shut in our face. We press on. Some 
narrow, narrow corridors here. Not doing a whole lot with the space. I mean, what's going on? We got a clock. Does this open? No. I love their flashlights. Oh, that's totally changed the room around on us. Like something out of Willy Wonka when they enter. Birds fly north in the summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. All right. Are we just are we just supposed to arrange these? Pl is it left or right, or is there like a... Let's try this. Well, what did it say again? North, east, west, south. Let's try that first. North, east, west, south. I'd like to think it's more complicated. We're gonna have to like work in the season order or something somehow, but no, that seems to have done it. All right, that's fine. Maybe if he was 14, he would that puzzle would have been a bit more complicated, but this is still very impressive. Let's not take anything away from this this child. After all, they have taken away my my sense of secure. Oh, what is behind this door? Ooh, red wallpaper. That's nice for a change. This is a bit more welcoming. And that's welcoming. Oh, God. This is like something out of Outlast mixed with Amnesia, mixed with that uh, Palmyra Orphanage game. That we, what the heck is there? Why is my flashlight stopping working all of a sudden? What the heck is that? Twisted 13-year-old came up with all of this. I was... I was just going out for band and just getting to know other kids and just playing nice, wholesome video games at 13. I wasn't designing things that would have chilled someone, an adult to their core. Again, it's another... Oh God, what is behind this door? Lots of the same style of wallpaper, just in different colors. Oh. think I'd expect it by now. Sometimes I wonder if the talking even helps. Just distracts me from what's going on. And then it hits me even harder, I think. I like the, the mechanic of the chairs. The small, easy to climb over chairs being what's getting in the way for us here. Yeah, this is very Outlast right here. The game takes place in a an asylum. Oh, we have another s a note here. Is it weird that I like the sound of screaming? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask your analyst about that. I think you should, actually. Just go around these uh, kind of stretcher beds here. And uh, well, this is fun. Nice little torture room. Got heads and body parts falling down. I'm not even going to look. But there's something behind us. I don't care. Let's just keep pressing on. Give me my next jump scare. I'm hardened and ready for it this time. I say that and then I... I admit the next... Right, we need maybe an axe or something to get through this door. Yeah. Something to break these planks. Like Blaze and Die Hard. Why couldn't have I pl I've played Die Hard? I love Die Hard. John McClane. Yippee Kaye. I love that. Just an empty. Oh God. Is there an axe or something? Crowbar. Did I miss something? I'm gonna get this. No, no cor- Oh, good. Something broke the door. That's reassuring. The door I couldn't open. Something just smashed it up. Oh, I like lights. The heck is that? I, I no longer have control. We're just floating here. Wonka style again. Keeps coming back to Wonka, doesn't it?
Hello, friend. Did you have a busy lifting break as well? that in Half-Life. All right. Is that it? Is that, uh, is that what he, I tried. <laughs> and you succeeded in scaring the pants off of me. I tried to wake up. But now I'm one of them. All right, that says to me, we, we couldn't be bothered to, soon you'll be too, to, to animate something more interesting as an ending or more scary. But that's all right, the rest of the jump scares got me. All right. That one didn't get me as much, but that's fine. There you go, the lost fear. I made this game in two weeks. Look at this kid flexing. Good for you, kid. You scared an adult. You, sufficiently. Let's leave it at that. And uh, let's leave it back with Fluff with another Briggy. I'll see you at midnight, everybody. That's some scary stuff. Thanks, Gary. Before we send it to the professor to close things out, let's give out the coveted Briggy for best game feature on Let's Play with Briggins in 2023. There were a lot of great choices for games we played for the first time ever on Let's Play with Briggins this past year, especially when we got into your top requests in July with titles like Gabriel Knight 3, Heroine's Quest, Myst, and many more. The Briggy for Best Game Featured on Let's Play with Brigands in 2023 goes to... Gabriel Knight 3. Concluding the story of the shot and yager monster hunter Gabriel Knight and the will-they-won't-they -they chemistry he has with the incredibly capable Grace, Gabriel Knight 3 took the series in a number of new directions graphically and otherwise, and was the crowd favorite and your Briggy winner for Best Game on Let's Play with Brigands for 2023. Now let's send it to the professor for the final stretch. Take us home, professor. All right, everybody, this is your yearly reminder that fireworks are not toys. Don't try this, and this game may potentially trigger epilepsy. Um, big thanks to Fluff for uh, do, handing out the briggies. It's a reminder of all the uh, the good times we've had on this channel over the year and uh, over the last year, and some not-so-good times as well, I suppose. Codename Iceman, can't avoid it. But thanks everyone for voting. Uh, we put up polls for the best and worst games per your thoughts uh, of the last year. So there you go. But um, anyway, I'm excited. Of course, we're ending our New Year's countdown with Fireworks Mania. We do this every single year. What else are you going to end it on? The fun twist this year is that we are now running this for the first time ever on a modern computer, which might be able to handle some of this stuff. So with that in mind, let's bump this up. Let's not even test out the other qualities. We don't have time for this. We are coming up on midnight. It's gonna be a new year. Let's try a new quality. Wow, look at the detail of that snowman. Look at that, no shadows, shadows. All right, and I'm sure the explosions will be awesome too. This may still break everything, but we'll see. Also downloaded a few uh, workshop things, which I had never done before. So we have some additional maps, which we did not have in the past. That's fun. Um, first, let's go to the Christmas Village. It's that time of year, right? We have the Nuke mod. We'll talk about that when we talk about that, but... Uh, so here we are. This is lovely. Quaint little Christmas village. All the elves have uh, oh, a couple snow people right here. That's nice. Let's destroy them. With, uh, let's see what we got. How about a couple thick billies. Let's get them to stand up. There we go. This would be a good test to start things off. Some shoot boys. Some uh, vipers. And that should be good for now. All right. Let's see, how far have we come? Let's connect them all so they all blow up at once. Have to do an authentic test right here. And that should be good. Let's get our Ignite tool. And enjoy. Oh, wait, those are rocks. <laughs> I meant to destroy those snow people. Oh, well. Well, look how smooth it is. Oh, there they go. Oh my god, the big tree just fell down. My bad. That's alright. Let's blow it up, too. It's not enough that it just falls over. That's very 
underwhelming. It's another year and we still don't have a, a Brigandia tube, I'm sad to say. All these other Let's Players and YouTube personalities, they all get one. Where's mine? Where's the Lurts Pla with uh, uh, Bragins or something like that? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just bitter. Don't mind me. Uncle Sam hats, those don't blow up though. Firecrackers? They're so small. Look how small those are. Get some cakes. 2024 with a bang. Quite literally. And eh, I don't want to connect it. All right, fine. We'll connect it. We'll connect it. Uh, ignite it. It's like a Lego top right there. Oh, stand back. All right, we slowed down a little bit there. I actually don't mind. It gives it a more cinematic feel. Kind of vibe right there. Are these still about to blow up? Nope. Oh, that's lovely. That's really lovely. There's still a lot of stuff around, though. Seeing as all the elves are gone, I say let's really test this new build that we're on here and go nuclear. All right. Clear the radius. <laughs> Clear the blast zone. <laughs> oh, no. Santa's going to come back and be like, what happened? Watch out, snowman! Ah! What? Wow, it really did crash everything. I was warned this might happen. Wow. All right, hold on, stand by. So let's try that again. Let's go to the Supermania map. This is. This is a mod. This is something that someone made. There's only three maps, I think, which come with it. Four maps which come with the game. The base game. But there is a uh, there's a robust community. Very lively community of, uh, of folks who make all these mods, maps, crap like that. Here we are. Oh, there's people here. Well, this is going to be very awkward when we go nuclear. Uh, there's children. All right, fine, we won't go nuclear. Oh, look at all the stuff they're selling. Hold on, let's see, we gotta test these, right? We're, I'm with uh, Consumer Reports. Gotta make sure these things are, uh... oh, that's a big old scam, right? What's going on with these? Can we get like a, like a cake? Here we go, maybe, maybe it just needs a little, a starter cake. All right, it worked. Oh no! We accidentally, I mean, it's not our fault. You shouldn't be in a store which only sells fireworks, apparently. Do they sell anything else? Oh, they have milk. <laughs> right, just one aisle away from the fireworks. Oh, it's just like a seasonal display. Oh, look at the meow meows. Oh, that's cute. What's going on down there? Oh, they're not real people. Okay. Well, if they're not real people, or cats, then, uh, let's go nuclear. <laughs> Look how quickly I always decide. All right, let's go nuclear. Yeah, down with consumerism. Buy one, get one free. One death. Please don't break this time. because we have a ceiling, which was untouched. Oh, it cleared all the shelves, though. Might need to reorder. Need to get the uh, the delivery truck to make a... Oh, God, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it was nuclear. You have to expect something. Oh, I can leave. Here we go. Bigger picture. We cleared the parking lot, too. Yeah, hopefully Supermania is insured. Grand opening and grand closing. Actually, opening in the sense that we blew it up. But, yeah, the, that's one hell of a roof, I have to say. Yeah, they made that ceiling good. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. And 
let us go to so we've done those we've done let's do one of the um let's do one of the the classic maps here let's go to the city this one's built in let's try this with our smooth fps and everything yeah this looks nice and technically it's not the normal city because we have the mod of uh, the ai vehicles so that's fun before, these places were very, I don't know, just very cold and dead. There was literally no signs of life whatsoever. But yeah, this is nice. Be nice to flamingos. I think we have some flamingos in our pants. Our uh, novelties? Fountains? Props? Props. That's the sand flamingos make. Don't look it up. Um, 2021. Need to update your... You've been out for lunch for like three years, haven't you, Cody? I want to get some fireworks, Cody. Oh, I forget this every year. I have my own Cody's fireworks in my pants. Not the best sense. What a serious sound. Let's get a fountain going here. Or 70. That's fine. Let's connect them all. Can I connect with things that are inside? That's the question. Well, well, we'll open the door. We'll have access in just one second. Don't you worry about that. Serious Sam! Oh, that is just a phone. Oh, it's still kind of cool, I guess. We need... Round of wizards. Anything with that? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Man, this is underwhelming. Go smoke balls. Do those need to be lit or anything? Those just sort of do their own thing. Those go off on a timer or anything. <sighs> Let's just get a whole bunch. Of oh, those are so small. Uh, the strobing pro. What is this? I don't know. Open the damn door. This is the longest anyone has had to wait to get inside of Cody's fireworks before. There we go. I'm not even sure, like, is this faster? There we go. I guess that's faster. All right. This should be cool, right? Is this cool? Oh, there we go. Got the smoke ball. There we go. Hell yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, the colors, dude. Oh, happy new year, everybody. That is all kinds of gorgeous. That's what I wanted. Hell yeah. Oh, right, cards, people. Oh, 2021 ended up over there. That's crazy. a little teacher how to react during all this. That's a natural reaction. Hold on to me. Just... Alright, now you're good to go. There we go. Nice. They made some big maps, too, in the mods I saw. They even did Simpsons Hit and Run. Someone recreated that kind of environment. We'll have to do that next time. There's just... There's too much. There's too much to get to, but I'll... I think this is a successful test of the new hardware. Let's do one more nuke. Let's see how much of this clears out. Let's see if we can at least knock those pins down with our nuclear bomb. Oh, uh, did we break it again? No, oh, there it goes, the pins. In the face. That's the least of our concerns. With a friggin' nuclear warhead. Yeah, they they warned you specifically not to set off two at once, two or more. That's just asking for trouble. My God. There is no God. Oh my God. Not in this world. Oh, we destroyed the the pavement, I guess, with our nuke. That. That tracks. That makes sense. All right. 
let's end on something ridiculous. Let's go to just the open lot where we can ensure that no uh, dummies, child or adults, will be harmed. And just drop one of everything, right? All these shoot boys really gonna put the uh, the new system through the the paces here. All the cobbers, all the cobbers. Fear of the dark, not tonight. Not to worry about that tonight. Ox caper, the slammer. Strobalicious, that's what it was. NC-17 on that one. Sick Billy! The Viper! The Viper 2! And the World Stopper. And, uh... Alright. What else we doing? Let's have... Let's blow up John Oliver style all the, uh, the old years. Let's get a beehive. I don't want too many of those. Let's tend to clog it up. Firecrackers. Lady fingers, male toes, snappers, purples, greens, reds, whites. How do I have stuff that's locked? I don't care about smoke. That's fine. We're about to go over here, but that's all right. We'll make this work real quick. Missoula candle or Makula wand of wizard. Oh, that was like a waste, wasn't it? And I don't really want to like give a shout out to any of these others. I just hopefully next year we'll have our own tube. That's all I'm asking. One of those and a propane tank. And one flamingo. Or several. Alright, now let's connect all this nonsense with the instant connection tool. Oh yeah, this should uh this is good. This is good. Suffice to say. In case you weren't sure, no 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 no. This is good. Alright, let's lighter. God bless America. <laughs> wow, well, they're going everywhere. How about that? I don't know where to look. Oh my god. Man, I can't throw enough at this system, man. Yes, I began and ended that sentence with man. Alright, I still feel a little underwhelmed. So let's nuke it. Screw the warning. Even the flamingo's like, no, Tony, don't. I don't even know where I should stand. Should we just stand ground zero? Look up to the to the heavens. There used to be a moon right there. still stands and or floats whatever the moon does all right <laughs> everybody okay 10 nukes later all right let's uh let's count down to midnight shall we all right have we got everybody on the line all right here we go let's do the countdown 10, 10 9, 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 Happy New Year everybody <laughs> All right Are we doing this? Okay, Let's do it. Professor. All right May Full all acquaintance be forgot and ended on the line May all acquaintance be forgot and Come on. 
So, no one learned the lyrics again except for Gary? Nope. Blaze, you weren't even trying there at the end. No. No, I did not. <sighs> All right. Fair enough, fair enough. There are, like, ten different versions of the lyrics that I found online, yeah. so I don't... I emailed you all the proper lyrics. And I meant to open that. Yeah, that's uh, that's my fault. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Have a great 2024, everybody. We'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.